Hey guys, the chickens here. We are back today with another Boobage video. In today's video, guys, we're having a much more successful time at 70 hours. We got ourselves the troop health, but we just need that troop damage, and then we are going to push on forward and hopefully be able to park. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We're still a ways away, but uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you're uh, using that code chicken in the shop, doing a giveaway at the end of uh, this month. On details and stuff are on the Discord server. Link to that's in the video description. Oh. <coughs> I get so excited to tell you guys to subscribe to the channel, Start Joke. Also, <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, we just hit 34,000 subscribers today. Woo! -hoo! So, um, yeah, slowly moving on towards that 50K mark. At this point, I'll be, I might hit it by the time I am 50, so that would be cool. Uh, that's just a joke. The chicken is 31 years old. Um, so, yeah, let's go over where we're at today. So, here's where we're at. This is the base I'm using. It's okay, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. We're up, down. We're kind of all around. Um, but you'll see we're missing just that one key node is that troop damage. Now, did I mess up a little bit? Because had I not gone back for this guy, that's 28 keys, and these guys, 26 keys, um, which also, unlocking those, did not get me anywhere in terms of rank. Um, had I not done that, um, we would have, actually I'm going to max out the flare because there's no reason not to. Um, and there are some times where the flare is expired on me, so. Always good to go back and check your tech tree and just make sure that everything you have is maxed out when you have five plus million tokens, like I do. Um, yeah, so if I didn't get Boom Eyes, I get Shock Blaster, we've got troop damage early. Yeah, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda, it's two unlocks. Everyone else has them for the most part, so. Yeah. Uh, so after troop damage, what are we thinking? Do we want to go forward more? I think after troop damage, we really want to go backwards and get the rocket launchers because we're just sitting on too many tokens at that point, um, and they're not doing anything for us. Now, it'd be cool maybe if they put in some kind of like token for key generator, and once you had, say, I don't know, 5 million, you got 20 keys, you could buy 20 keys or something like that. That would be interesting. Probably wouldn't make sense, but uh, something to do with them anyways would be cool. But uh, yeah, so here's the base. Here's the base. Shout out to Mr. Cron Howard for telling me to put the hot pot at the back here. That was definitely helping out a little bit. Um, and yeah, so let's just go, let's just dive into some attacks. There's a couple, there's a few different ways that we're attacking right now, right? So at 70 yards, um, for the most part, it's two rifles and six bombardiers, kind of like what we were doing yesterday. Um, for 6 ERs, we want to go 4 rifles, 4 bombardiers, perfect, okay, we can show you this one, and just trickle in, you want just a steady flow of riflemen coming in. Now, initially on these, I was using, um, I was using heavies, but as you'll see here in a moment, these are just the better option, they're just the better option, so let's go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to throw Kavana in early, um, because he's a little bit easier. And let's shock right up there. Come on, don't die on me, please, buddy. Don't you die on me. Okay. And let's keep that moving. Get the next batch of rifles in. We're kind of losing our front line here, so I'm going to use a bit of a panic second win. We'll see if it pays off. I just gotta get that hot pot up. There we go. Now we can shock over here. Let's keep second winder wind winding. Is that a verb? Second windering. Okay, okay. That hot pot is up. Let's hit him quickly, please. Before our, all of our riflemen are turned into pop tarts, or maybe that's more the clone riflemen, not so much the regular ones. Somebody's got to target that hot pot. It's the only thing right in front. Um, I don't know what to do at this point. Let's just hold on. Can we get a second win? We did get one. We did get one. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. Most of the scary stuff is out of the way. We just got a couple of boom cannons. Kavon is... Man, shouldn't have said the K word. Kavon was alive for a second. These ones are tough. These ones are tough. Even with the troop health. So ideally with the troop health, we should be steamrolling these bases. I'm honestly just hitting it wrong. Um, so... Yeah, we should not lose to sixes at all anymore. That should be the benefit of the troop health, but 
It's tough, man. It's tough. You got to sprinkle the right man. I think maybe I got to go 5-3 rifles or something like that. But I just tried this one with heavies, and it was the same outcome. They all just kind of fizzled on me towards the... Right about towards the end of the attack here, so... Uh, yeah. Not ideal. But it is what it is, right? So let's move on to the next one. And he's obviously not going to fizzle, but he's going to take a long time. That's the benefit with the sixes, is typically they take a very long time to get through your base. Um, so the base is doing its job. It's fine. Uh, we just got to figure out the chicken's attack a little bit more. And honestly, getting troop damage is just going to make those sixes just auto... You know, we don't have to worry about it. We'll just fly right through them. So, yeah, 12 stars. That's a hefty price to pay against another rank 23, but all right. Kick them while they're down, I guess. That's okay. <clears throat> all right, so this time we've got a more typical 7. This guy looks like a Seeker player because he is missing... Uh, he's missing Boom Mines. He's missing Flamethrowers. He doesn't have that first DBD, but he's got the troop health, and I think he's got the troop damage, I think. So you guys will see here how he's going to absolutely fly. Um, that's why he's able to get away with running a bad base right now. This is where I could have been. Um, but this guy didn't go back for anything. He, <laughs> he, totally, he totally skipped any sort of defense. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Having that troop damage is definitely going to be a benefit. But are we able to overcome it? That's the question. One, two... One, two, three for the Sky Shield. It's two Barrage and three Artilleries. Um, he's scouted for a long time, so that makes me think like he's using Seekers. I don't know. I did get hit with Seekers once on this base, so it's not Seeker-proof, but they're pretty few and far between is the thing. It's not like early on where everyone was using Seekers. It's like the odd one here and there that you lose to. And, I mean, that's pretty typical with any Warship season. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just if someone's really good with Seekers, then, you know, it's it's going to be impossible to beat that time. So, But I'm not giving up just yet. Let's see what the rest of this attack is going to look like here. We'll keep bringing in those second wins because there's no reason not to. Extra troops is always good. We're going to need some meat for that Doom Cannon here in a second as well. Just let make sure the Hot Pot comes up. Go ahead and shock him. I like to always clear the hot pot because just in case um, things can go south really quickly <laughs> with the hot pot right there if you're uh, if you get caught not paying attention or whatever. So we're not really going to get an awesome time here, but uh, let's see. We've got so many rifles there, we shouldn't have to worry about the doom cannon anymore. And I just want to make sure that. And let's throw the arts down. 2-5, 2-4. 2-4 is decent. 2-4 is decent. I mean, I thought this guy... Well, actually, he started late, so he's still ahead. Let's see. No, no, we got him. We got him. Okay. I assumed he was using Seekers there the whole time. He had me... He had me going for the... He did a fake Seeker. Maybe just scattered for a long time. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. That's how we want to hit the generic 7s. That's, um, you know... A fairly straightforward attack, and thankfully he's barding out his troops here, so the attack doesn't take so long. Um, GG's to uh, to Rohit. Appreciate the the quick end, so we can get into one more here. Um, so we went against the dirty six. We went against a, a fairly early seven, and let's see what we got next. Let's see what we got next. Um, the only one I haven't seen, knock on wood is a fully dirty 7 with the rocket launchers and everything else to boot. So, thankfully, we have not seen one of those just yet. Um, but they're coming. They'll probably be here, and by the time this video comes out, they'll probably be out within 12 hours or so. So, get your troop damage. Get to pushing. Get moving. Um, yep. Yep. Uh, okay, let's go. What do we got? What do we got? We got we got a six here. Okay, we got a, an old style six here. Interesting. No rocket launchers, so we can go back to our rifles here, and we'll at least get a good look of what the troop health is going to look like, um, or looks like on these bases. Oops, I went too early there in my rifles. I haven't attacked one of these in a while, but I mean we did so many of them. I I'm pretty sure I'm not going to screw it up. One two three four. One two three. 
to wait to throw the doctor out. Look at the difference in the Rifeman staying alive. That's crazy. Okay. You there. One and two. Um, I might hit that blaster. It's kind of annoying us on the side there. Look for the shock and the flamethrower. We'll see if it pays off. I don't know. I also need to shock for that hot pot. That might have been too aggressive, that double shock. But we'll see. Okay, we got our hot pot shock. Let's see what happens. It is up. Ouch. Ooh, that took a lot of rifling down. The hot pots are so annoying because they're so difficult to time. Like, it's hard to tell when the riflemen are going to trigger it. Okay, let's go now for this guy. One, two. Tie your shoes. Okay, we still need two more hearts down there. Okay, shock there and go. That was a nasty shock mine. That was a nasty shock mine. Come on, guys, come on. Don't let that shock launcher come back online. Jeez, two minutes and three seconds. Well, for such a bad hit, uh, the true pelt definitely got us a better time, I would say. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we're going to beat this guy, but yeah, it's not quite enough. I think you can rank up depending on where you're at. You can definitely get to 24 with the true pelt. Um, and we probably could rank up, but you really have to grind it out. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. It's definitely a bit of a push, a little bit, going to get you up a little bit further where you're at, but uh, I think we need a little bit more. So we'll be back tomorrow with that, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that. And uh, there it is. As always, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next one. Chicken out. Back there.